guys welcome to yet another halloween makeup tutorial and today we're doing something new uh we're gonna be trying to create like a burnt half burnt face zombie look so i'm starting off by stapling um some grease paint different shades of grease paints uh, mainly black and uh, dark red or maroon shade and i'm just gonna staple that on top of the bold cap just to give it a little bit of texture and then after that i'm gonna go in with like the beige color just on top of that as well and once we are satisfied with that we're gonna take some foundation of course this is a darker darker shade than my skin tone because i just wanted to give it a different look i don't want it to look like me so i'm gonna go in with a different foundation shade opposed to what i would normally wear when i'm doing my makeup um beauty makeup tutorials so hence the reason why i like going in with darker shades when i'm doing sfx so you can see the difference and i'm just gonna apply this all over my face including those brows that i've already covered if you're interested in knowing on how i cover my uh, eyebrows and how to uh, apply a bold cap i'll just make sure that i link the videos somewhere on top here the ones that i previously shot so i'm just making sure that i pack it really this foundation is pretty dewy so and that's what we're looking for so just decided to kind of like give it a little bit of touch on the edges of my bald cap just so everything can look a bit more seamless and then took some um old weave and i decided to just put it somewhere randomly on the bald cap to make it look like you know hair had fallen off at some point in time and then i just decided to take some liquid latex and tissue which is my go-to sfx uh, basics and apply it somewhere on my face then i changed my mind and i was like you know what how about incorporating both uh the smith fees transfers um yeah transfers and this is what i'm doing here i basically applied three different smith fees transfers and what i'm doing here is i'm trying to blend down those edges a bit because oh sometimes it's hard to work with transfers because of blending out the edges and i did not feel like going into some alcohol at time time sometimes we just don't have time to be trying to blend out some stuff if you just want a quick halloween look and you want to get out the door and this is it this is it right here so i went in with three different types of smithies transfers and the good thing is whenever you feel like the edges are not blending out well enough you get some tissues some liquid latex apply some on the edges very thinly and you barely tell that it's a transfer so as you can see here taking the spatula trying to blend out those edges and uh, yeah some of them did and some of them didn't so i'm taking some tissues and again same method this is what i always use this method uh if you can check out most of my sfx makeup tutorials i always love going in with lit tissue and liquid latex because you have control of where you want to, to place your wounds your scars the look that you're going for pretty easy to manipulate a tissue and liquid latex yeah so here i was trying to basically make it what's up with me and basically oh this word so yeah try to make my ears look covered up or burnt up <laughs> so i'm covering i'm covering them again with the same method also the reason why i also like using um tissue and liquid latex because of texture it really good gives a very good texture like realistic look without having to do too much and you see exactly what i mean in just a second once i'm done covering this ear yeah decided to take another layer of tissue and cover that ear completely as i wasn't quite satisfied with my real ear showing up there it wasn't giving me the effect that i was going for making sure that it aligns with my jaw area and how about tucking in those edges <laughs> tuck them behind the ear just like that 
and a little bit more liquid latex as you feel it's needed. I'll just take some more of the tissue and applying it underneath my eye area and of course overlapping half of my nose area. Oh, this liquid latex really burns the the fumes oh are really irritating so make sure that you do an allergy text test prior to trying out liquid latex because most people are allergic to it so do <coughs> yeah do a test prior then i added a little bit more on the forehead area i felt like something something was missing so hence i did that and then after that i was like you know what guys <laughs> This is really annoying. It's irritating my eye a little bit. Took some tissue and I was like, hmm, we need something a little bit popping. So took some tissues, rolled them as you see right here. And I'm going to be creating some popping abnormal veins. Yep. Really like that. Place it where I want it to be and apply some liquid latex as our adhesive. And yeah so i'm gonna do this several times and i'm gonna speed it up so that i it doesn't get boring And now it's time for some foundation. Let's just cover our ears and the rest of our face with both the foundation as well as the reddish grease paint, which is going to make it look a bit more alive and a bit more realistic. You see exactly what I meant when I say tissue really gives it texture that you wouldn't normally get from any other appliance. Fast and easy and you are done. Good to go. So let's just grab some of that red and apply it where it's needed. mentioned earlier uh, i was gonna go back in with this foundation shade and i'm just gonna apply it to try and cover up some of that white tissues showing um right underneath the red and so far so good i'm loving it looks good just what i wanted now taking some tissue and i just decided to cover half of my lip tissue liquid latex then i'm gonna flip it over fold it over and then apply some more 
a liquid latex on top of that and then I'm gonna basically tear up just I just wanted to cover my lip area and that's about it Again, again, it's just um, foundation and uh, the red, bloody, um, bloody red grease paint. We're gonna apply on top of that. Same, same shades that we've been using all throughout uh, this look. Look at how realistic <laughs> it looks. It really looks like a burnt up zombie. And yeah, so I'm taking some red um eyeliner and i'm gonna apply it on my waterline and a little bit on top of my eyelid i'm gonna blend it out with my fingertips and then uh, later on i'm gonna take some black grease paint and just um blend it in with that red a little just to give it that sickly uh deathly look just like that just a little bit not too much because we still want the red to show and then once we are kind of satisfied with that, we gonna bring down that red, <laughs> only the red, I did not apply foundation on here, only the red, I'm just gonna bring it down to my neck area and my chest area. Time to pop in some <laughs> contact lenses, you've seen this in my previous video. Again, I just went in with one eye contact lens and this is how it came out. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please don't forget to subscribe. Comment, like, and share, and until next time, bye-bye.